Right, I'm gonna see if I can try and show you some meals. I'm starting out Monday night. <laughs> it's been a bit of a weird day for eating anyway. So um, anyway, we've decided on chicken curry. I gave the kids the option of chicken fajitas or curry because we've got chicken to use. Um, and I've got both the ingredients in. I find those sorts of meals are quite kind of, if you've got the chicken, then I've pretty much like got everything else because it's quite standard staple stuff in my cupboard whether it's just rice sort of a curry paste a coconut milk that sort of thing but anyway i picked up this one from aldi um today the butter chicken which we've had before it's really really nice you just put the seasoning stuff on first and then you dump in the rest of it so it's very very convenient so i've got the chicken cooking and we're just going to have some coconut rice with it and then I've got some poppadoms as well and then we've also got some mango chutney which is in the fridge. Okay so to the curry I'm adding chopped spinach and I'm also going to add some coconut yogurt so this is kind of going to be like a, more of a cooling agent instead of adding like coconut milk or anything so I actually um, don't really want to put a whole tin in if that makes sense. Without a problem that I can't fit because I can do it and move it and if you Okay, quickly show you what's on the menu for dinner tonight. So I'm doing uh, broccoli carbonara, which I haven't done in ages, and it's a Tesco recipe. I'll try and leave it linked. I've done it so many times. Violet's helped me numerous times, and um, yeah, it's just super simple. Got the broccoli, literally all goes into one pan. It takes 30 minutes. Got the bacon, which is our own bacon, so I just cut that up, browning it off. Four eggs, add a little bit of pepper, and then you grate in the cheese hard cheese whatever you choose um i think the actual original cheese that you're supposed to use is the pecorino but i don't have any of that so this is a good alternative from aldi and literally you add the cheese in the egg get your spaghetti on the go and then just add in the broccoli as well after about five minutes and then that cooks down drain it and then just literally throw in all the other ingredients mix it and then it's done Okay, quickly show you dins for tonight. So this is just mine and Graham's dinner. The kids are actually in the oven they're having separate meals, which I don't do very often. I don't mind doing it like once a week. So they're having pizza and chips. It's kind of their choice. And I knew they wouldn't have this anyway. So me and Graham are having the infused salmon fillets, which are from Aldi. They're ginger, chili and lime. They are really, really good. Um, I actually prefer this one to the sweet chili. And then literally I have thrown, I haven't mixed it up yet, but I've thrown in some frozen mixed peppers. And then also the Aldi barbecue beans is this one. It's like a lentils, um, smoky flavor. And then uh, the wild and whole grain rice is underneath. So I'm gonna give that a mix. And yeah, just basically, this is gonna take minutes to cook down. And then I'm gonna throw on because obviously the, the salmon's fresh, I'm gonna throw on the salmon, pop on the lid, and let it all steam together. Okay, it's the kids. Dinner, pizza, chips. Violet's not really a big fan of chips, but she eats stars, so I've just given a bit of both. Sweet corn, yellow pepper, and cucumber, and that is Miles's. He's got a bit of everything as well. I quickly show you dinner so we are having uh, turkey mince bolognese I'm gonna obviously we have spaghetti already so I'm gonna use fazilli the whole wheat's fazilli pasta instead so it's like pasta bolognese um, I'm using like a cheats garlic and mm. onion sort of tomato based sauce from Aldi this is really really nice it's literally as it says onion garlic like passata um, diced tomatoes in there. I'm actually going to add some tomato puree to that as well just to enrich it up 
Um, and then I've also got mushrooms and some spinach as kind of like a hidden veggie. Okay, so I've just diced those up and then I also found a courgette, so I've grated that. So I'm gonna throw those in now, let them sweat down a little bit with the mince and then I'll just throw in the sauce. Okay, so that is dinner, excuse the tumble dryer. So that's the turkey mince bolognese on fazili. I've sprinkled over a little bit of the um, Biolife, Biolife Epic Mature Cheese, which is already grated. This is really nice um, and everybody seems to like it and doesn't really notice that it's vegan. But yeah, so that's dinner, that's Miles's. He has exactly the same. And then I also pulled this out of the freezer, which is a garlic and cheese flatbread. Okay, just gonna quickly show you dinner for tonight. We're having, it's mothering Sunday. We're not having a roast necessarily, but we're having pies. Graham did a mud pie order. Um, these are like our favorite pies. And, um, yeah, this is the one I'm having, the lamb, red currant and rosemary. It's all locally produced. It's, oh, they're just so delicious. But uh, Graham's got the steak and kidney. The kids are all shaved, see the chicken on there. The kids are having the chicken and mushroom, I believe. And I've got a few that I've just put in the freezer. So that is what we're having with some baby new potatoes and some broccoli. Okay, so that is dinner for everybody. You've got a bit of gravy. Miles is sharing with the children. Okay, prepping a little bit of dinner tonight. So we have got burgers. Um, these are actually venison, pork, and cranberry burgers, which Graham made. He made them last week, but I put them in the freezer. Me and Graham are having those, and the kids are actually having chicken burgers, just because he didn't bring any more back, so we just haven't got any more. Um, baked beans. I'm not a big baked bean lover, but the kids like them, Graham likes them. Corn on the cob, and then we've got some salad -y bits, and then I actually picked up some cheese topped baps from Asda today because I randomly did my food shop in Asda. I've just given two of the baps to my dad. Um, yeah, so I'll show you once it's all together. But yeah, that is pretty much gonna be our dinner. Okay, so that is dinner. That's Miles's cut up. That's mine. And then the kids have the chicken burgers from Bird's Eye. I just picked them up today. So yeah, nice, quick, simple dinner for tonight. Okay, dinner for tonight. We are having chicken fajitas. Just, this is like one of my sort of quick cupboard dinners. If I've got chicken in the freezer or if I've just bought it that week, usually I can rustle up chicken for years. Um, so we're having the smoky barbecue. This is from Aldi. Um, we always go for the barbecue because, just because it's just one of the kids' favorites and it's just not spicy or anything. Comes with the wraps. So um, yeah, just add in the barbecue seasoning. Then I've thrown in one sort of ready orange pepper and then kind of like a quarter of the yellow pepper. And then the kids love it raw. Um, as well as cooked, so I do a bit of both. Okay, so that is dinner. Basically, it's kind of a help yourself. Um, I've obviously got the wraps, but if anyone wants anything else, I've also got the sandwich thins as well, which are a really nice alternative because um, sometimes Violet prefers those, slightly lighter and smaller. Um, and I've pretty much just divvied up Miles is already, he's got the chicken, he's got peppers, veggies, and then I did him uh, a sandwich thin with the smashed avocado on top. So he's got like a little picky plate there, which he'll love, he loves chicken as well. Um, so yeah, I've also got the epic, mature, already um, grated vegan cheddar, um, which everyone really likes, so that's a good alternative, it's already done as well. Smashed avocados, two avocados there. And then just a mixture of cucumber, celery, some iceberg lettuce, and then 
some yellow pepper and really yellow tomatoes as well as some brown and wild rice so yeah and then usually if there's any leftovers i'll have it for lunch me and miles will have it for lunch tomorrow so um yeah that's kind of like a picky dinner for tonight mm -hmm. 